All right, I'm building the first uh, piece of my own pixels <laughs> that, that we've done in any project so far, because I'm compositing with my own pixels. So I drew this crack. For my next frame, I like having the stage file because can I, I can always refer to it. Like, where am I in the animation? Do I want to immediately go to there just being a big crack there, or do I want the crack to grow? And I think I want the crack to grow over a few frames. So here I have the full crack, and I can label that as green. And I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to start erasing away from it. or just even using my lasso and saying, okay, let's show it first going about halfway, maybe to the arm. So I'm gonna take this part away from it. And then I'll duplicate that. And I'll take away a little bit more. Maybe about all but one third of it is left. Okay, this way I can animate the crack growing just like this. And each time it grows, it's going to glow a little bit more and bring a little bit more attention to itself. So for the first frame, I want it like this. And maybe I'll even thicken it up a little bit at the base. It really kind of makes it clear. That something's happening. So from this to this. I think that works. So what do I do? I hold that option. I say layer merge visible. I go to select all, I hit command C to copy it all. I go over to my frames or my stage and I hit command V to paste it in. So I've got the crack beginning. Let's see, do I change the color much? Yes, so I'm still changing the color. Now I'm gonna deselect on my assets, delete that layer. I'm not gonna change the shadow anymore, I've locked that, but I'm gonna grow the crack and I'm going to edit the color a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna focus on the movement of the crack. So if anything, maybe I'll, I'll just increase the gradient overlay slightly. Oh, it's all so powerful, so slight. So it was at 15, I'll move it to 20. And maybe the outer glow, I'll move from 50% to 60. Maybe grow it just a little bit. So from this now to this, I'm going to move the clouds. Let's move them a little bit. And still grow the mist a little bit because that's happened in every frame so far. So I want to keep it consistent. Then I go to the top, I hold down Option, I say Layer, Merge, Visible. I select it all. I can use Command A, Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it in as my next frame. So now, oops, I am two. The hard shell and the crack forming. So I'm through 
four of my keyframes now in nine layers. So you don't always have the same number of in-betweens. I have a lot of in-betweens before the first two, and then the crack starts to form. So far, so good. I deselect on my assets, I delete the merged layer. Now I do the full crack, <laughs> and I'm gonna push the gradient overlay just a little bit more, and then I'll probably keep it at 30. Maybe the inner shadow I just make a little bit stronger at this point. Maybe a little noisier. And the outer glow, I'll just grow a little bit. All right. And I might even start to open it up a little bit at the top. Again, add some new pixels. Now it's starting to open just a little bit more at the top. So slight. So you start a movement slowly. Got to move the clouds. I'm not sure why I always give myself multiple things, but I guess I tell myself it helps you if you have multiple things you need to change for each frame and then change the opacity on the mist. So as long as you kind of keep it consistent, it's going to be fine. But you don't want to all of a sudden stop changing something or that will be really clear once you start doing your, your animation tests. So it goes from that now to this. So let me hold down option. Layer, Merge Visible, Select All, Copy It, Command C, go to my stage, Command V, go back, Command D to deselect, delete that merged layer. And now I need to maybe build some more assets. So it's starting to open up. Now it actually has to start opening. So this is fun. I'm going to make a duplicate of my creature layer. Turn off the one behind. And now I'm going to use my lasso tool. And I'm going to do some internal compositing. I got to open up and cut this one creature asset into two along my crack. So select one half of it, and I'm going to duplicate just that one half, so it's on its own. But I need the other half too, so what I'll do is I'll use my magic wand on that copied layer, select the empty space around it, go to the layer before, and say select the inverse, the opposite of that selection, and duplicate that. Oh, I don't need to do the inverse, sorry. Select the inverse and duplicate that. So now I have one half and I have the other half. So if I turn them both on and turn the crack off, right? Nice little crack of light coming through. That's because of the, the outer glow that's on the layers still. Now I want that crack still there, but I'm going to start merging it in. So I'm going to take the full three layers that made the crack and duplicate all three and then merge them together using layer merge layers into a new combined crack layer. 
<laughs> is right here. I can turn the, these ones off. I take that combined crack layer, and I can merge that with both sides. So I'll make two of them. This is all compositing. And then I will merge it. First with this side, merge these two layers together. So layer, merge layers, command E. So now that's one layer. And then the other one, let's move the crack a little bit. There we go. Merge these two together. Command E. All right. And now I'm going to start splitting them open. And how do I do that? Well, with Puppet Warp. So I'm going to give both of them a color, make them both yellow, because now both of these layers are needed for the shell. And that shell is going to stay part of my next frames as the new creature comes from the inside. So we're on to my sixth keyframe now. I need to open these up. Or maybe it's worth it just to, to have this work on its own. Let's see. I'm going to erase away at a low opacity, small brush. Oh, not that small. Let's see. Some of this extra glow, because it's a little extensive. Okay, so I think I'm going to have just a layer like this. Where I move the clouds. And then I'll start opening it up. Just because the crack is a little different now than it was before in the frame before. Move the clouds. I don't know if I want to brighten it up anymore. Or maybe I'll go up to 75 or so and then start going back again towards the beginning. So this will be my next frame. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Select All, Command C, Copy, and Command V, Paste. So this really shows kind of the strong separation. Oh, but if I'm going to lighten that side, let me lighten the other side too. So let me delete that one and then make a quick change before I merge it. To this side. And let me just brighten it a little bit using image adjustments. Just like so. All right, now, yep, I think that works. Deselect, delete the merge layer, and now I start to open up these two halves. 